these are some images of illegal immigration. People are willing to do such desperate things as cross the desert. This is some images of like little children. But like everybody wants to come to the US. And so you see, and we're trying to keep them out like this. And I'm just gonna let it play so you can see, because they really do help the, the speech. <laughs> Who's taking Side. It's up to us to help these people. Every day, you do back-breaking labor out in the fields or on the factory floor for pennies a day. You go home to a poor, crime-ridden neighborhood each night, and it's a struggle to put food on the table for your family. You're not able to rise above this condition. You've got no education, no special skills. And worst of all, your children at home, they're going to live the same life as you and their children after that. So will you do whatever it takes to get out of this misery? Millions of illegal Mexican immigrants have taken that chance and tried to come to America in search of brighter prospects. And can we really blame them? I believe we should extend a helping hand to those immigrants that wish to come here and those that are already here, legal or illegal. We should do this by revising state and federal laws regarding immigration and illegal immigrants, specifically from Mexico. And by doing this, we will strengthen our nation both economically and culturally, while embracing an ideal that our country is built upon, that anybody can have a shot at the American dream. Illegal immigration has been going on for decades, mostly in the, in the form of the flood of Mexicans across our southern border in the states of Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and California. They'll trek through deserts, swim across freezing frigid canals, or climb or climb large fences in San Diego County. They dig tunnels to get under. They'll do almost anything. And every year, there are hundreds of immigrants that die trying to come to the U.S. Almost all come for the same reason. The hope of finding a job, an opportunity for them and their family in America. Currently, the U.S. Census estimated that there are 10 to 20 million of these illegal immigrants in our country. And our government is greatly divided on what to do about this issue. With opinions ranging from repealing constitutional amendments to doing absolutely nothing at all. One thing is for sure though, action must be taken and things must change. As the, sta as those stag as the staggering numbers of illegal immigrants that have come into our, into our country in the past 20 years evidence, the 10 to 20 million. We aren't very capable of keeping them out. Plans of building a fence or militarizing our border are bad because is it really such a good idea to wall off one of our only two neighbors that we share a land border with? I propose that we should take more control, that we should take control by allowing more legal immigration. The first advantage is to this is that we can regulate the stream of immigrants into the U.S. Immigrants won't want to take the chance of trying to go across, the, of trying to take the dangerous journey through the desert, and instead will apply for legal immigration. Overall, we can actually lower the numbers, and we can take only the best applicants, like those with more skills, those with, those with families, or those who already have family in the U.S. Now, now we can also weed out any dangerous criminals that, that, that some are so worried about in our country. With this plan, human traffickers, or coyotes, 
that take that take illegal immigrants across the desert and smuggle them to the country, as you just saw some images of, will be out of business. And drug cartels that help fund and that that help that work in the human tra human trafficking business will have a source of funding cut. Ranchers along the Arizona border will no longer find decaying bodies of illegal immigrants in the deserts, dead from heat exhaustion and dehydration. Many Americans may oppose this plan because they fear immigrants will overrun our country. And it's true, a lot of immigrants will come. In fact, the U.S. Census estimates that 60% of our country's growth from 2010 to 2050 will be in the form of immigrants from Mexico. But there really isn't much basis to the fear of losing our national identity. Because all of us in this room are descended from immigrants. Our country is nothing more than a stew of immigrants. And isn't it better that if they're going to be here either way, because they, we aren't effective at keeping them out, of keeping them out, that they're here legally as citizens and actually participating in our country? So as you can see, legal immigration is a much, be is a much better alternative than illegal immigration. The legal Mexican immigrants that are here are also a vital part of our economy. And without them, entire markets come, could come crashing down. They form large percentages of the workers in construction, manufacturing, hospitality, and agriculture. I'm pretty sure that everyone in here uses those services on almost a daily basis. Although these jobs only pay five to seven dollars an hour, according to Harvard immigration expert George Borjas. Immigrants are happy to fill them because they represent a much better conditions and wages than the jobs they had in Mexico. If we give citizenship to these illegal immigrant workers, they can join unions, demand overtime pay, and legal wages, not these under-the-table under the table, under table, uh, dealings that we have now. Also, they will be subject to taxes, so that way, sorry, so the government will have another source of revenue. Almost no Americans lose jobs to immigrants, except for high school dropouts. And honestly, do we want to be encouraging high school dropouts anyways? Think about it. Is a, is a Mexican immigrant that has nothing more than a high school education in a, in a third world country going to compete for a desk job? With, with, somebody, with, an Amer with a native-born citizen who has a college degree? No. And according to the same Harvard immigration expert, if these, that if immigrants mysteriously disappeared, they would have, they, they don't, they wouldn't have a, they wouldn't have an, a, a positive effect on almost any American's wages. As a whole, immigrants are an essential part of our nation's economy. We need to learn to accept the millions of immigrants into our nation as citizens and culturally. Doing so will make us more diverse, safer, and stronger as a whole. By granting the illegal immigrants that are here citizenship, our nation will be far more culturally diverse. It will be like adding another, another metal to the melting pot that our country is. Some fear that that this multiculturalism will be divisive. But, think, but look back and see the, how the waves of immigrants in the, 18, in, the, in the 19th century eventually broke down and didn't become Irish Americans or German Americans or Italian Americans, but simply just Americans. And the same will happen with Mexican immigrants. But right now, even though they're living here, it's not happening because they aren't actually Americans. Also, when these new citizens begin paying taxes and are actually under and are actually under our government's jurisdiction or under our government's uh, or they're part of our government's tax system, we will no longer have to per se subsidize their children that are that born here are legally citizens. So, for example, an illegal immigrant he has a child here. He doesn't pay any taxes for his job but his child is entitled to government programs, public education, and other such things. With that, if he is legalized, then we will no longer have to pay for his child and give him essentially a free ride without 
without the tip, without uh, their father, without their parents paying taxes. If the illegal immigrants that are here are also made legal, they will no longer shun the police for fear of their illegal status being discovered. There are some laws that are that are trying to take this to the extreme to the extreme right now, such as in Utah and Arizona, where they, where thankfully the federal government has tried to block the passage of these laws, but they require that the police check the immigration status of anybody who is anybody that they suspect of being an illegal immigrant. This essentially opens the door to racially profiling, and really. Who carry if, and really, they can stop anybody, any one of us on the street and demand our birth certificate. But who carries around the birth certificate in their pocket? In the wake of these laws, police chiefs, police chiefs in those states and other states considering such measures have spoken out saying that it is in the best interest, obviously, for the community they serve to trust them. Because they serve anybody, not just citizens. The legalization of our immigrants in our country will help in so many ways. There are many benefits to reforming immigration and granting citizen to, citizenship to illegal immigrants in our country. Our nation will benefit economically, culturally, and it will increase our security. But most importantly, we will be following an American ideal. So I call on you to, if you know any illegal immigrants, to lend your support and say that you, that you support them in their struggle. I also call on you to contact your local congressperson or representative and tell them how, that you feel that we should help these immigrants. Together, we can form immigration laws so all can have a shot at the American dream. Thank you.